Cleanup continues across Beirut after Tuesday's blast. Volunteers are clearing the rubble there. Some are complaining the government is very doing very little to help that effort, which is led by volunteers and teams from foreign countries. About 300,000 people are unable to go home because of the blast and its impact. Officials estimate about $15 billion in losses. It's really tough. I have moments where I just start crying in it. An American photographer who was in Beirut at the time of that explosion took his camera and documented what he saw as he walked through the streets. David Gomez spoke to that photographer about those images. Even an ocean away, the moving images from Lebanon are overwhelming, but trying to capture the enormity in a still image? Nothing can really prepare you for that. Daniel Card and his girlfriend Tuesday night were fixing dinner in their Beirut apartment two miles from the port. I remember there was an airstrike. Still in shock, but physically okay, this photographer with North Texas roots headed outside and started capturing images in the immediate minutes and hours after the explosion. What he found was shock all around him. I just saw this guy just sitting by himself on this chair and just tall. I mean, I remember thinking like, I, I need to photograph that. The I UT that. Arlington grad and former that. Dallas Morning News intern yeah. hasn't stopped shooting since, sharing the images on his social media channels. 48 hours later, he is candid. The shock of so much devastation is still right there. Sorry, I'm trying to remember what else I was trying to say. Don't have to apologize. I, I'm, I'm kind of amazed you're able to even process what you have. It's been tough. It's been really tough. I have moments where I just start crying in it. It's not crying out of sadness. It's just overwhelming us so much. His call tonight is for North Texans to support nonprofits to help those affected in Beirut while he keeps documenting every image. We need the help. You know, we really need the help. In Dallas, I'm David Goins.